have some ideas around here and some old clocks around here, quartz, and shop and shop here. Exploring. Yeah, this is the Jefferson Museum yeah. of yeah. Measurement and Time. Yeah. In Jefferson, Texas. Yeah. We have a very large collection of American mechanical clocks and other uh, knickknacks. Yeah. We found. Let's see what he's got to show you. Let me show you. Yeah. Okay. Someone needs to show you. Oh, boy. Yeah. That must be. You may never have seen one of those. Oh, well, I have seen a video, but not somewhere else in person. But. What kind of clock is it, Andy? Good, how are you? It must be... Yes. Well, I think yes, that's quite small for a movement. How much per sheet? $5 for the first one, $1 for the second. Okay. Quite small for a movement. It's a perpetual, I think. And they have a, being a regulator. Where are the others? I've got a Uh Westminster Chom. Did you get a picture of the one hand clock? Oh. Have you ever seen one of them? I have. Right here it is. See that round one that's just got one hand on it? Yeah. That's a one hand clock. Yeah. Until time to the nearest minute with it. Unusual, per se. So, yeah, it's a mechanical wind up clock, Andy. And the way the, the graduations are between the numbers, you can, if you're patient looking square at it, you can tell, get the time to the nearest minute. Just one hand. That's actually simplified a great deal, isn't it? <laughs> My wife got tickled at me. I was trying to write a little paper to tell young people like him how to tell what, uh, time on an analog clock. And uh, you do that sometimes. Sit down and try to sit in the Oh, gee. The steps and the must be some New Haven fact. Well, it's one of the. Well, yeah. And must look like on. This kind of fits to our organ design. That's two. Two pocket, a couple of pocket watches, and carriage clock.
power going on. Um, nice pocket watches. <coughs> yeah, some quartz clocks here, but not much. Quartz clocks, but. Hey, once you have about three or four minutes of video, why don't you stop it and start a new one so that it can be a, a modest length? Nah. Are you like showing everything together? That's a nice of Tony and Waterbury and Gilbert's all together. Yeah, and so on, yeah. So Waterbury. Start, over, start over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, through. Yeah, here's. And Sonia, apparently. This one's a. Well, unusual anyway, but. Quite. Quite also rare. Looks like an Sonia to me. But. And there's. A Gilbert. And that is. Um, Waterberry as well, and Sonia, again, Crober, and Unusual Crober, yeah, oh, there's these, but, there's this, New Haven, uh, no, I think they made an identification error with this one, anyway. That trademark looks like Ansonia. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, someone mislabeled it. As far as I know, that's an identif someone made an identification error on one. I think I saw an identification error. Right. Yeah. Okay. This one. Old, tall grandfather clock. Sure, which ones? set correctly otherwise it's a ship spell mechanism yeah an unusual one where the keyholes or the winding holes are actually out of the dial Bounce of the dial. That doesn't seem. You know, if you can look at the face of a clock and tell whether it's an eight day clock or a 30 hour clock. Yeah. How the keyholes. By looking where the position of the winding order is on. Yeah, but some of them go too far out for comfort. Some of them go too far out for comfort. What do you, you mean the winding arbors go too far out for comfort? Yeah, they're the dial. Like out of the bunk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I caught an identification error. Because I know that. Now, please. Unusual grandfather clocks. Huh. Back up so the viewer gets a big view. Yeah. And then zoom into the details. Um. Alright. Now, what, what's interesting about those clocks? Well, for one thing, first unusual thing to note is the dial on this one is. Like 
It's not the modern style. Yeah. It's actually running. If you look at the seconds. Yeah. Must be deadbeat escapement. This one's also... Mold. It's a mold. Yeah. Yeah, you can really notice that the keyholes are out of this one. The dial. Um. Yeah, see what I found interesting about these is these are actually iron front clocks. Yeah. And I, I'm not really sure I've seen any iron front box clocks elsewhere. Have you seen iron clock front clocks before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, here. Let's. Like. So oh. This one is a newer lattice model. Yeah. Here, make sure you point it at the clock. Mueller. Mueller, yeah, lattice we model. Come for, we come for our other okay. Iron front. Yeah. That one's by Welch. Oh, uh, case by Mueller. Movement by Welch. Alright, and then this one is American Clock Company. It's interesting. The Miller on oh. Oh. Two frame compression is probably not gonna like this. What's that? Well, uh, about the inner frame compression. Oh. It's not good. Uh, And there's this one. Yeah. Open escapement. Yeah, go ahead and show the back up a little bit and show the whole whole clock. Alright. So this is an Ansonia clock company yeah. figure case. Yeah. I'll zoom in on the open open movement. Well, I already did, but okay. my God. There's S plus F on the dial. <clears throat> so do you think this uh, cover is original or was this an add-on? I think it's original because of how the glass looks. Cool. Yeah. Old quartz. And a musical creepy clock. Um, an unusual sign of a. Yeah, probably one of the biggest ones. Creepy clocks. Ooh, yeah. This is another open escapement. Yeah. This one's not on. As far as I know. So this is a New Haven. The other one is in Antonio. New Haven, yeah. Right here. Let's look at the movement a little bit more closely. Do you think the movement looks like the the Ansoni a lot, or are they a little bit different? Oh, I don't know. Uh, but... But... Sample. Couple of dials. Really big dials. In a movement, some strange clocks, but others. Down, big dolls, mostly, but adamantine. I'm seeing. But what makes it an adam adamantine? The appearance on like the pillars and such. Okay. I like those. 
Now this is a sample movement from Nansonia. Here, hold the I'll hold the study let you me, talked let about. Me, okay. Let me hold it. So it's a, an example movement from an Ansonia clock? Yep. Is that a dead beat escapement? Well, it looks like a recoil. But then there's a Pratt and Sons. Yeah. There's also this on the broken quarter. Yeah, these ones don't like being having their time so I messed around with that much. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Big <laughs> regulator, I think. I don't think it's actually a regulator. But then and Sony and New Haven. Um, there's this one. Big. I don't know. A large striking grandfather clock, I think. A two. Grandfather clock's actually grand. The first one's grandmother clock, and the second one's actually a granddaughter clock. Uh, two Napoleon hat box. Um, small world fun. Two kitchen clocks. And that's. An unusual weight driven alarm OG. This is a clock. pretty impressive clock, collection clock. Which one's the alarm clock? That one right there. The OG? Yeah. And we were told that it's it's pretty unique because it, the alarm side is weight driven. Yeah. But there's springs for the other parts for the clock. Mm. Oh. It might be I don't know. Then there's these ones, which use beepier, I think. Patented July 4th, 1876. One year, 100 years after the Declaration of Independence. Uh, triple decker. Well, Oh, um, to actually call them, but that's a triple decker. An OG behind unusual design, but yeah. Unusual gong. So, I just noticed that one. Right up there. This one. Oh, grandfather clock. Five tube. Tubular. Moon doll. And this one. Moon doll again. Except this is an unusual pendulum design. Some, some creepy clocks do them an unusual mainspring version, actually. This one's chiming up, as far as I know. Uh, not gonna 
do that. Have you shown the calendar fox? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there is a 30 day Montgomery Wards, as far as I'm sure. Some cool vintage record players and things like that. In the yeah. Hey. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Is a big bone scroll. Two big large clocks, but then there's these ones. Here. Clocks, then panel clocks. And a large regulator, I'm not sure, but. A big regulator one. Um, I'm not even sure if that's one. That one's actually regulator. And there's this one. A small, big, actually, um, color and scroll. No, actually, not color and scroll, but the uh, calendar clock should be. And uh, unusual. Our channel clock with a pillar and school design or something. The stained glass calendar. Um, yeah. A big regulator. Two big regulators, in fact. This one, cal calendar kitchen clock. Um, yeah, hey, this one, four, three, two, one. That's the leap year counter thing. Here, Saturday, Friday. This one also is an unusual calendar clock. But then there's some here. Uh, that doesn't actually look to have a leap year system on it. This doesn't have your all these don't have leave your signs on them. And there's these big ones. Yeah. I used to have a design like that, but with a hand on the weekly stuff, but not anymore, I don't think. This big one keyhole will pop, and a striking one clock. There's a two keyhole striking. Thursday. Here we have it been we've been you know, so many these old ones. Another old one, but say a Vienna Vienna clock. Yeah. Wow. Uh, And there's a Vienna 
Oh, this is blind span. A um, design where there's a white grand sonnery and these ones. Some of these here, but not quite. But these, okay, on. but the water timer clock or something along the lines of it. Oh. A, a clock like that. Something like that. There. Big orange box on the lines. So, but in about 20 minutes, it's going to be time to go, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Some vintage tech, even. Wow. Um. Yeah. It's quite old. Even. Oh, ooh, regulator. Large vintage antique. All right. Hotel.